Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new episode of a Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we got here to Happy Happy Village and I've learned more or less the whereabouts of where Paula was, so we're gonna go rescue her. Let's do this. Ooh, another crazy cultist. Let's get him. Utilize the paint attack. He turned back to normal. And here we are. And for some reason, there are a bunch of those... Uh, what was it? Smiling crows or something? Whatever. They give me a cookie at least. That's cool. So let's go into this little place. Huh. Hi Paula. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a lot of responsibility now. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to, to, had to try to bust out of here. So now here this line is completely wrong. What she actually meant is that uh, if he hadn't come, she would have cried. To a, Because uh, the verb to cry in Japanese is really close to, uh, how can I say, get free or something. So basically they mistranslated that bit here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got the, he, he's got it in a way. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Let's got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. <laughs> That's also a really strange line, but apparently there's no issue with it. Huh? Pokey? Hey Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, now what he meant to say here is that Mr. Counter Carpenter was about to make him an important person in Happy Happyism, he actually isn't yet. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Ah. Uh. You little bastard. The insane cultist in co cohort attacked you. Spiteful crow has a big grin on his face. Insane cultist B called for help. It's not like they're gonna be able to do much against me. Insane cultist B called for help. You stole my croissant. You little... Ah, that's more like it. That's what you get for stealing my croissant. Level 80, no baby. Realize the power of PSI Flash A. PSI Flash does a bunch of things. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it uh, deals some sort of uh, random status effect. Hmm. Let's have a look. PSI Flash. It generates a strong flash that can and can make the enemy start crying uncontrollably and in some circumstances feel strange. I feel strange as well. Ooh. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click beep. I don't remember if I mentioned that, but this bit about your dad calling you to <laughs> tell you to stop video game is a pretty nice thing to do there. They were concerned about children playing too much video games back in the days. They still do, but to a lesser extent. Now then, so now we gotta go to deal with Carpenter. One of the things I'd like to do uh, if I get some money is get some consumables since they stole my croissant. 50 bucks ought to do it. Now then. Not yet, I'm gonna eat the croissant. 
Oh, they gave it back to me. Well, that's perfect. Let's be on our way. I don't care about you, dude. So now the headquarter for Happy Epiism is right there. If we can stop being uh, harassed by cultists, he has trapped me. Not much cohesion, they call for help, nobody helps. Ooh, that's a lot of cultists. <laughs> blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us. Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. So yeah, you actually don't have to fight all of them. You just have to uh, talk to a few of them and get ahead. Blue, blue. What? I'm locking you? Okay, I'll move out of your way. Blue, blue. I say, arm the torpedoes full speed ahead or something like that. So now I'll crush you. Okay. And you're doing that in the middle of prayer. What's up with that? Kind of like this section. Happy Happy Village was a really, how can I say, fresh experience in a video game. So yeah, most of them will talk to you. Which means that uh, they're fighting this guy or there was no point. Blue, blue. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go, quickly. Blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. There's no response. Blue, blue. Lagoon, blue, blue. Blue, blue. Don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you. Here we go. There's no response. Mm, which way was it? I think it might be this one. Blue, blue. What? Are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Oh. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. <laughs> that's a really funny thing. It cracks me up. <laughs> The guy is new at uh, this happy happyism thing and instead of saying blue blue he says green green. <laughs> Maybe it's not that funny but I like it. Under cross, huh? There's a skip sandwich inside. Nest take it. There's no response. Blue blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. This line is actually wrong. Blue blue was meant to... Uh, in Japanese to sound like the onomatopoeia of uh, whistling when in fact he actually said blue blue and uh, he was actually scared of you because he was trembling. I didn't explain that very well but that's what he was doing, he was cowering because you were scaring him. I heard that whistling makes one fly ill. I'll practice over there. So for some reason the translator completely missed the point on this and they made up something. It happened sometime. Blue blue. You're a strange unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. This line's actually a hundred percent as is. He doesn't mean go to hell. He means don't go to heaven. <laughs> you know, he's insane and rude, but he wants to be polite anyway. Lots of people on screen leave, makes for a bit of lag. Blue, blue. Why will the person who's not blue be here? Beats me. Blue, blue. This should wake you up. Ah! These guys are a total pushover now that I've got that hard hat. Even then, I don't think they're supposed to be very difficult. Blue, blue. You can be happy unless you know happy happyism. If you say so, dude. 
Blue Blue, those who aren't believers must not be good to eternity with you. So yeah, those guys are pretty much insane. There we go, he turned back to normal. Oh well, let's move on. Aye! I screamed. Because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> That's a funny line there. Oh, so what's that golden statue doing there? Huh. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? He actually meant will you and Paula be my right hand assistants? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left will be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. So yeah, that's what the Franklin badge does, it reflects lightning. <laughs> and the funny thing about Carpenter is that he kind of look uh, like uh, Colonel Sanders, I think. That's pretty funny. He used a crashing boom bang attack. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. That's the thing about the lightning attacks. They're actually uh, fairly unreliable as far as accuracy goes. Yes, I shield A. Strange how this guy's got psychic power for some reason. Be nice if it worked at least once. Hey, quit recovering, you jerk. Ah. Franklin badge reflected in lightning. He turned back to normal. So yeah, he can pretty much defeat himself. Let's gain a lot of XP. Level is 19. Do you see the many many statue behind me? Here they actually weren't telling you that its name was Manny Manny, they actually meant the golden statue behind me. Since I got the statue, I have been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me, if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here is the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. Your backpack is full. You should take this even if you need to throw away one of your items. Let's equip this key. Use the skip sandwich. Now it's got the key to the cabin. Hey dude. So you're the boy that... that... You went after Mr. Carpenter and... You're awesome! I sure am. Ew. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want it to stay. I'll get out of here. Yeah. Don't want to be part of a dead religion, do you? Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Yes, let's be friend again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Ha, huh, I lied. See you, sucker. <laughs> That's spooky. Mr. Carpenter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. Hmm. And you threatened to kill me, lady. It was hard on the eyes to have everything blue. It still is. Won't be in a moment, though. We need to return the town to its original colors. I'll be very busy. They said someone named Pokey stole all the food from the food stand. Huh. What a troublemaker. Thank you for your support over the years. The food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. I heard many footprints. Yeah. She still says the same thing. Let's look around, see what the people are saying. 
My wife has run away for a second time. I'm such a lucky man. <laughs> So yeah, the thing about this line is that if you remember, he wanted to have his wife back and when he converted to happy happyism, she came back and now he's saying that he, he's lucky that she left. This is actually something that can happen in real life where somehow he remembered how he was and now he's glad she's gone. But actually the real line says, uh, my wife ran away for a second time, man I have no luck. <laughs> So yeah, apparently someone in the translation might have been going through a nasty divorce or something and just made up a joke out of there. I don't know, I think this one is pretty funny. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, isn't that nice of you? Hey little dude. You really think I was a bad boy? Yeah you were. You kidnapped a little girl. The blue cow thing wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? Hmm, I think you're cool, blue cow. Don't ever change. Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Sure. Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're a strange sense of humor, this guy. Oh, there are actually blue sheets. Well then. It's the same music as in Tucson now that I listen to it. We might have been listening to evil messages really rather than good. Yeah, you tell him, hippie. Oh, hi ho! Finally, I have a chance to apologize. Good for you, lady. I woke up from the dream. I too was wrong in many ways. Seems like I'm no longer hypnotized. So yep, everyone got brainwashed by Carpenter. Alright, let's go get Kapala. It's about time too because we're having real inventory problems at the moment. Although I suppose just wanting a female character to join your party because uh, she can carry your stuff is a little misogynic. Nask, you got the key. Are you hurt? No. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Use the key to the cabin. Thank you, Nass. You're just like I imagined you will be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Paula joined you. So yeah, you've seen this, she kinda went to get her teddy bear there and she actually has it in her inventory. Teddy bear, a cute teddy bear. It's gonna protect us in battle. So yep, yeah, that is good, I'm actually gonna give the Franklin badge to Paula and say since she doesn't have much health at the moment. Not that there are many enemies at this point who can uh, actually use lightning spells, still. One of the things we're gonna want now... Oh! Yay, my favorite moment in the game! Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! You'll notice that Ness is the only one posing. Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. kind of bad, but I think it's cool. Oh well, yeah, Paula isn't very strong at the moment. We'll fix that by getting her some proper equipment. 
Yeah, you grin, you little ma. Freaking cookie. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you. Paula can actually use offensive magic, namely PSI Freeze. Cause a very cold wind swirl around one enemy, inflicting about 180 points of damage, which is a lot more than PSI, uh, what was it, Rockin. It may freeze the enemy completely, it may not be so effective against some enemies. So basically what they're telling you is that you need to watch for the element the enemy is weak to. At the moment she doesn't have much, but she'll get some pretty soon. That's a real derpy looking teddy bear, is it? Hmm. Maybe because it's red. It's creepy. <laughs> it should smile a bit. It looks a little sour. So yeah, Happy Happy Village is back to normal. I must say, I very much like this version too. Let's withdraw. Oh, that's a lot of money. The information on the... Oh yeah. Same thing. Thank you, lady. So, yep, Paula doesn't have any equipment. Doesn't matter if you can cast magic. If you have no equipment, you're deadbeat. So, she's the one who can use the frying pan, of course. I see, of course, but... Uh, wait, I don't have enough money? Did I do this right? You had a bunch. Ah, oh, yeah. I just messed up. Good. She can use the Holmes hat as well. Probably a reference to Sherlock Holmes, of course. You can use the ribbon as well. The ribbon might be better, actually. I can use the Holmes hat on someone else, so... Ah, uh, whatever, I'll sell it. Hmm. What I'm thinking is whether I need more consumables. I suppose a couple of those would be nice. Buy a second one just to be sure. Okay, good. Let's deposit our money. So, what does this guy say? I'm a changed person. I'm no longer a believer in happy appeism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. So yeah, this is the anti-blue place that is supposedly Lilliput Steps. So we're gonna have a look at this in the next episode. Thank you for watching everyone, this was The Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye bye!